This is a demonstration of a remote support session where I helped Sally. I start the meeting app and log in. Now I'll start a remote support session. I'll click the invite button for directions on how to invite Sally to join the remote support session. Now this is a view of Sally's computer. And Sally is going to join the meeting by starting a browser and going to the RHub Appliances website and clicking the join meeting button. Then Sally enters the meeting ID and her name. Then she clicks the join meeting button. The meeting app downloads and Sally joins the meeting. Sally chooses to let me control and view her computer. This is my view of Sally's computer joining my remote support session. I can change the zoom level of the view of Sally's computer. Now I'll send to Sally's desktop a file which is a memory test program. After the file gets sent, I'll run the memory test program. Note that files and folders can be sent in any direction using the file transfer feature. Now that the memory test is done, I'll make myself the presenter so I can show Sally something on my computer. I can also record the session by clicking the record button. These recordings can be very useful to promote your product's new functions, to reduce future support calls, and to increase sales. Now I'll change the presenter back to Sally's computer. I'll clean up the memory test program from Sally's desktop. I can reboot Sally's computer in the safe mode or normal mode. Note that the meeting app will automatically restart allowing you to resume control of the computer. I can send a control alt delete to Sally's computer and start up Windows 8 Task Manager. I can lock and close Sally's computer if I am done working on it. In the preferences menu, I can choose to remove the meeting app from the supported computer after the session is over. The menu item Remote Computer System Information lets you see information about the computer such as the hard drives, the processes, the applications, the services, and the event log. At the end of the session, I can right click on Sally's name and attendees list and choose to remove the attendee. Thanks for watching.